What's up guys, Shane here. I got Darian from Pike Outside. Oh, there goes Keegan. Dorian somewhere, there's Dorian. There's Dwayne from the Outdoors McGee. We're gonna head up on Trail 7. We're gonna go check out these shelters and hopefully have a good time. Dwayne was already out here on the trails and said the, the ticks and the mosquitoes are, are brutal. So we're gonna go deal with that for a bit. All right, we'll see you out there. So that's not supposed to be the river. You can see where the river is supposed to be but it's definitely not supposed to be well over there. This is all flooding. Those poor families. That's so yeah. sad. It is sad. I was just listening this. to this interview. What's up, buddy? Nothing? <laughs> That's a steep hill, isn't it? What's up, Keegan? Horrible. That is a steep hill, huh? Yeah. Steep hill when you're loaded, isn't it? Good job. How you doing, Darian? Doing good. <laughs> that is a steep hill back there. Yeah, I I heard that there were some pretty steep hills, like that the trails would just go straight up without switchbacking, and that that was the rumor is true. The rumor is true. It's very true. We're coming over here to take a look at the shelter. It's pretty neat. I just want to see how buried it is. Ah, it looks cool, huh? Actually, the grass over here is is better maintained than it is over there. I had to catch my breath. So it's about 89, 90 degrees, somewhere around there. Um, up here in the woods, there isn't really a breeze to speak of, so we're filling it. So we're going down to fill up our water bottles. We're gonna go down, it's like a mile down, but here's Trailhead 8A and it's closed and here's why. You walk over here, trailhead starts to head down this way, but right there's the water. So, so on the way to get water, we came to the lookout, and it is beautiful up here. The directions we got to the water kind of sucked, and uh takes us to this old historical town. It's pretty neat. Oh, hey, there's a well. <laughs> you can hear that water, I'll show you. There's the water, it's all the way up to this town. There goes the outdoor McGee. <laughs> so the water is literally on the other side of where we're camping. We decided we were gonna go down and get some water and fill up the bottles just because of the hike that we had up here and the boys, they went through quite a bit of water, but yeah, so it, it's really far. <laughs> and yeah. uh, mm. we came back with a bunch of ticks and stuff like that on us. So it wasn't, wasn't, yeah. wasn't worth it. We'll say that much. We're gonna set up camp now and, and just hang out and live that camp life. <laughs> Messing around, Dwayne's got a little bit of a, Kind of a smoke pit going, keeping the bugs away from us all. <laughs> I think he was dancing. I was my, hey, how are you? <laughs> hey, how are you? So Dwayne's got some smoke rolling, keeping the bugs away from us. It's actually working really, really good. I've got the camp chair set up over here. Dorian and Keegan set our, our marmot tent up. I'm going to use my uh, Eureka also and kind of put it off to the side. And then Dorian and Keegan are over there messing with Darian as he's setting up his hammock. So, <laughs> they're messing with the hornets. <laughs> Look at them. Let's go watch them. Come on. <laughs> All right, I've got the bush buddy loaded up. I'm gonna get that rocking and rolling. Cook some, cook some, or get some tea started, and then I'm gonna cook some dinner. We're gonna do black bean and uh, and rice burritos 
Dwayne's building the fire up over there. He's gonna throw his um, his little grill plate on there and get rocking and rolling on some Iowa chops. Iowa chops, right? Yeah, Iowa chops. It's cooling down. Darian and Dorian are over there, Messing around. chillaxing. So we're gonna get started on some food here. All right, so I've got the the bush buddy going. I was just telling these guys it's so hot still that it's just exhausting <laughs> so we're uh we're literally living the camp life we're just making some food and relaxing so when the bush buddy's uh done making the tea getting that water on a boil i'm gonna reload it and uh get some actual food going on Look at the size of that Iowa chop there, man. Slow motion turn. Yeah. Iowa. <laughs> Tea's done. I'm gonna come over here. Get these uh, beans. A super fast, funny meal. Rice. Doing one handed here. Can I save that? Yes. And chicken. Right out the can. Right out the can. I'll mix it up. While this stuff is cooking, that stove is just kicking butt. So that small stove right now is cooking enough food for three people without a doubt. Darian over here, Pike outside, had a small mishap with his bug net. And uh, look at this, Mr. Prepared, straight up sewing it. If I had a lot more thread, I could really legit do it, but I'm just kind of button hooking it, you know? Yep. It's working though. It's working. It's gonna keep the mosquitoes off me, I think. As yep. I chew my pork. As he's chewing his pork chop that Dwayne shared with us. Oh, it's so good. It is good. But uh yeah, I think that you can probably go you can take it to a seamstress and get it repaired to like for probably eleven bucks. Oh yeah. I honestly single my stitched. Got a sewing machine that I can use. Oh there you go. I would put another piece of banding over it and like triple stitch it, you know what I mean? Yeah, yep. That's probably a good idea. The bush buddy's done. I'm gonna cover this up just to let the cheese melt on the inside a little bit and we're gonna be eating here shortly. But then there's gonna be melted cheese on your own. No, yeah, that's all right. It's your plate. Actually, it's Keegan's plate. <laughs> here we go, so we're gonna take this. We're gonna do this little gym. I don't gym. what they say about me, but it irks the fuck out of me to bring my kids and kids into things. I'm gonna yeah. throw it into the burrito. Oh, this one's big. All right, I got his burrito all wrapped up. He's gonna do the first bite rule. Savor it, flavor it, and how's it? How is it? Good. All right. Outdoor McGee. Is that outdoor McGee in that tree I see? <laughs> Maybe. Well, I had to go over and put the uh, top on the boys' tent, the rainfly, because I think that as cool as it's getting tonight, I think that it's going to uh, be a really kind of dewy, wet morning. Um, so I didn't want them to wake up wet. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I'm not going to cover myself. I don't think Dwayne is either, but we're just hanging out here. We were telling some ghost stories, and yeah. think we're going to build this fire up a bit. And we're trying to smoke the bugs away by putting some green and stuff on there. And it does, smoke bugs. yeah, it does do a good smoke job. Bugs? What, do you pick a bug up and try to smoke from their butt? And it does work good, but when when we didn't have that on there, we were we were having bugs drop on us. So that's doing pretty good. But yeah, we're just, we're hanging out. We're having the time of our lives. Living the camp life. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. This is the good life. Well, well Dorian. Nebraska, you Iowa. Well, now here's the thing. Dorian has been excited about going camping, like, for two days. He went to bed last night. I was like, Dad, I'm so excited we're going camping tomorrow. I woke him up and he was like, right away. He's like, all right, let's go. So I was like, yeah, he was excited. He likes being out here. Uh, 
Street Fighter, man. Yeah. yeah. And back. I'm so close to Keegan, you can't even see him. He's chilling here with that shirt on. Oh, we're going to walk over and get his shirt. So we'll catch up with you in a bit. We're just hanging out, having a good time. All right, the boys are in bed. I, I usually like to show everybody's camping setup, so I'm going to show you real quick. The boys are sleeping in the Marmot. This is the Marmot uh, Tungsten 2P. I personally think that this is a fantastic tent. I love the vestibules on it. It's one of my favorite tents. <laughs> it's my tent. Um, now, this is a tent I don't really like so much. This is my Eureka Solitaire. I originally bought this tent for like bikepacking and stuff, and it does work really great for that, but personally, I like a tent that I can sit up in, but I own the dang thing, so I figured, you know what, I'm going to use it. I was going to take my hammock, but um, Darian had told me he was going to bring his hammock, and I know the spot we were coming to probably wasn't going to have um, like a lot of hammock options, so I decided to go with this route, so I know Darian could use his. Um, the, the good thing about the solitaire is, I mean, I don't want to completely bash this, the setup, but the good thing about this setup is it's a bivy style and if it's nice and cool out and it's not raining, you can open it up and it's just all screen. So if you're down with something like this, this is a really good tent for that setup and it's like 2.2 pounds, I believe it is. It's a really nice setup, but I like to have a tent where I can set up because if it's a rainy day you're literally <laughs> trapped in your tent laying on your back or laying on your side you can't sit up it's kind of uncomfortable i had this tent and i upgraded to this tent and i love this tent this is just the two person it works really good the boys and i talked about getting a uh, larger uh, tent just because you know there's three of us and they're bigger now those boys are growing so let's go over here and we'll take a look at uh at Dwayne's setup. Dwayne, how much does your tent weigh? So he has, Dwayne has the Kelty uh, Salida 2. He doesn't have his uh, rain tarp on it. Oh, I'm sorry, he doesn't have his uh, his rain cover on it. He is the same thing as the tungsten, has got the aluminum, the aluminum poles. It's a really nice, really nice tent. He's running Tyvek underneath it. Nice setup. I like the screen. I do like, I do like this. Um, mainly, mainly because with, see, you see the moisture built up on it? So my tent, the Marmot, is all screen here, okay? And on a night where it's a or a day where it's really hot out and then it gets really cool at night you get this you get this condensation with the screen it would just go inside and get your stuff damp this setup right here the water's building up on the top so it's really not building up on the inside of his his tent that's a nice setup i do like that um also i believe i'm not 100 percent sure but kelty has the option where you can buy like a floor pan for your uh, tent setup, and then just use a your tent uh, poles, your rain cover, and then the floor, and then you kind of have another freestanding lightweight setup. So that's kind of cool too. Good options. This is Darian's setup. Kind of crappy. Uh, Darian ripped his his bug net. So it stinks. So he sewed it up. I think he's fine though to keep the bugs out. He's hammock camping tonight. This underquilt, man, this is really nice. Hey, Darian, uh, who's your underquilt by? Hammock gear. Hammock gear. What's the rating on it? Wow, that's super nice, Darian. So he's got a hammock here. His hammock is by a bear butt, which is pretty decent. I'm a, I'm a Grand Trunk fan myself, but it doesn't mean this is bad. It's just I never tried this. I would use it. <laughs> I'm fixing his stuff. Sorry. Anyway, yeah, this is nice. He's got his line come through here, and these go 
shock cords on them and oh these are looped here pretty decent this is a uh, I think these are by Chill Grill, I believe I saw. He had a video, um, Darian did his Pike Outside is his channel. He had a video where he had showed this set up, but that's kind of a shame about, about that. He said he was, his wife has a sewing machine, so he's gonna probably fix it. I believe I showed you guys that earlier, but yeah. Dorian was just using the restroom. We had to, we had to come over here and take a little bit of a, a bathroom break. <laughs> It was, uh, it's all right. It's surprisingly, there's actually a restroom way the heck up here, which is nice, right, buddy? Because mm -hmm. he kind of had to go in the middle of the night. So it's about 1230 at night. And I was just sitting around the campfire uh, with I the can't boys. Go to bed. And uh, we're getting ready to go to bed. Dorian's restless. He's just so excited to be camping because it's great and it's fun and it's a beautiful night out. Are you having a good time? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, we're going to head to bed, and uh, we'll talk at you guys tomorrow. See you in the morning. I can see you. Good night, buddy. I love you. All right, I'm climbing in. Really low profile. Uh, taking off the old shoes. So I kept my sleeping pad and everything up towards the top. So that way, when I got in here, I could step through. And now that I am in here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just take it off the other shoe here. Now that I am in here, I'll stretch my sleeping pad out all the way. And I'll put my sleeping bag down and I'll rest. But like I said, I kept it all out of the way so I could step in and not get my stuff dirty. Good morning. Ah, slept great. Beautiful morning. Beautiful place to wake up to. I'm gonna leave these guys sleeping until they're ready. Just not a fan of that tent. I mean, it does its job, but <laughs> it's uh. I like to sit up in the tent and when I wake up, kind of come to. All right, let's get some breakfast. Well, it worked for him. He's a single, uh, the ultralight, and uh, I use that for the uh, for the boys when they uh, when they were first getting into it. Now they both have their own hammocks, and. Uh, Nobody really uses the single unless we're going to go hiking in the woods. Right. And uh, we use it as a chair. Really? Yep. That seems like a good use for that, you know, eh? Oh, yeah. Everything is moist. I put the lid on. It's moist. Or I put the, the lid at the bottom of the stove here to lift the burner up so I've got a good... A good height for the burner there. And I'm just gonna get rocking on some some water here for some coffee.
Oh man, there's still a pork stop right here. Yeah. There's a line right there. And sit it again, people have said this thing goes slow. Not at all. You guys are going that way, huh? See you guys. All right, so Dwayne and Darian are heading out. So you got the outdoors, McGee, and Pike outside. They're out of here. Oh, your your name is Dorian. Dorian just thinks it's great that there's a Dorian and a Darian. Good morning, Keegan. You come in peace. He comes in peace. He said, "Wow, he woke up super fast." So we are still hanging out here because I've got stuff for their food still kind of laid out so I can get them breakfast and really like in the mornings, good morning. Good morning. Really mornings at camp for us are, are really special. We like to just take our time, <coughs> eat some food and just kind of relax and enjoy, enjoy each other's company and enjoy it. It's, we love it. So we're gonna take our time. I've got almost everything packed up just except for the food the food stuff and then their tent, so I have to get their sleeping stuff. But they got sleeping pads and sleeping bags, that's it. It'll be super fast. We're just gonna relax. So the time has come. I mean, these boys have been camping so much, you know, over their lives that it's finally come that they're they're now taking camp down by themselves. They set the tent up by themselves and now they're taking it down, which to me, that's just great. There's <laughs> one less uh, camp chore I have to do when we arrive to camp. And they they do a really good, thorough job of it. In fact, Keegan told me when I showed up to camp, his words were, I think we got it taught enough. <laughs> so it was good. So Dorian is doing breakfast. We're having summer sausage and cheese. And uh, we're going to, I think we have paper on this one. Is there paper on this? Yeah, that's what makes it look uh, good. Yep, there's paper, so. Oh, okay. No, it's all right. I don't care how he cuts it. Doesn't matter what it looks like to me, man. Doesn't matter what it looks like to you. We're not picky, Doran, just keep doing your thing. And we'll keep eating, okay? <laughs> See, look, you can peel paper. It ain't gonna kill you, is it? <laughs> Alrighty, it's close to 9.30 and we are going to get out of here. We told Darian and Dwayne we we're going to be about an hour after him. We're going to douse what's left in that smoking pit right there from uh, from their breakfast. And, uh, you know, we're, we're going to head out. We just had a really good time. We packed all of our stuff up. Uh, there's my Teton Sports Explorer 4000 that I have. Um... Keegan's using this uh, this uh, three day assault pack without the butt pack on it because he's got his uh, heavy cover canteen and stuff over there on the side and then he's got this other hydration pack. We'll pick it up for a second, Keegan. Show him what you did with the the charger. Oh, this. Oh, you just dropped your phone, bud. So he put the light charger. He ran it through the molly on the front on the shoulder strap, and the light is also a uh, battery bank. So. He's got a light and a battery bank right there. It's kind of cool. Dorian's over here rocking out the uh, Snug Pack. Sleek of Force 35. I love the, it. You love it, huh? Fits you good, doesn't it? Yeah. With the, I also uh, like this one. It's fixed up. Hidden Woodsman good. patch on it. Yeah, oh, definitely. So, I don't know. I think I might end up getting Dorian the uh, the Scout uh, pack from Teton Sports. Maybe in the same color. He likes the colors I like. We'll see. Maybe he wants a, another color, but it's up to him. But anyway, guys, so uh, we are getting loaded up here, and we're getting out. We had a good time. It was a great overnight. 
Look at that. It was really good. Man, they're getting big. Jeez. <laughs> so we're out here. Say bye to everybody. Bye. Bye. Peace. Bye. <laughs> came up this so switch back so they're gonna get a drink and then we're going to uh gonna carry on all right we made it back up to the ridge that was pretty harsh what do you think yeah. pretty hard yeah it was pretty extreme so but we're up here and as soon as we got up here first thing we felt was what wind yes a nice breeze so now we're just gonna walk along this ridge and then it's all downhill from here Yay. Huh? There's another hill up there. It's yeah, not it's, up not, it's a barely. That's a, a very, very slight incline. We'll be all right. Got a nice view of the woods. Yep, yeah, in the flooded river. But we do. We have a nice view. And there's our vehicle. We made it, guys. Okay. We're here. It's still early in the morning and it feels like it's super late because it's hot. <laughs> All right, so they're in the back of the truck and we're going to uh, we're gonna drive up to where the water station is and they're gonna enjoy a cool breeze, right? Instead of walking. So I have this big blue tub in the back of my truck and we they throw their bags in there so that way Nothing rattles around or anything like that. And they have plenty of room up inside the cab. But right now, right now though, they're just gonna chill and ride in the back. All right, so we made it back to get some water. Keegan just filled up his canteen. I'm about to fill mine up now. No, 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 we didn't walk this far. Dorian's getting his out of the back right now. We're gonna fill up, literally, we're gonna fill up our stomachs. And I'm also going to use this point to check these boys for ticks while we're here. I'm gonna have them take their shirts and stuff off and check all the incidental areas, make sure we don't have any ticks creeping and crawling on us. We don't wanna take home with us and bring in them changed clothes and all that good stuff. Yeah, and Dorian made us really cool necklaces. He made us these cool paracord necklaces when we were at yeah. camp. So I'll tell you guys, we did this thing or we talked about uh, on the way here. You guys obviously didn't know about it, but I have this. Ooh. I have a two dollar bill. It was given to me when we were at a fair. And the dilemma I have is the most behaved boy when we went camping, because that's what you do when you have kids, right? Earns the two dollar bill because they both want it. So my dilemma is they both were really good and they both had a great time. So I had to weigh my options on what I was going to do. And come over here, Keegan. Come over here, Dorian. So what I think I'm going to do is for the most selfless brother and who really kind of came into his own and took care of both of you guys and made sure that you were both hydrated and everything, I'm going to award the $2 bill to Keegan for being everything he's supposed it. to be. Oh, 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 okay, I'm going to cry. Bye. All right, so after I had a fathering moment, <laughs> Bye. oh, these guys, so we had a really good time. We got to hang out with some cool people and then I got yeah. to hang out with these guys and just, and have fun. So thanks everybody for coming along with us and we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>